Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're having a lovely day celebrating Valentine's Day. Or if you were doing that last weekend, like moi, this is filmed last Saturday when me and Ben had our little Valentine's date night. Um, or indeed, if you're doing it this coming weekend, I hope you have a great time whatever you're doing, whether you're in a relationship or not, just having some new time, just spending some time with friends or with your, your partner. I hope you have a fantastic time. Um, yes, this cocktail is going to be slightly Valentine's themed shall we say hence the roses and the candles etc um, this is actually going to be a twilight themed cocktail now I love twilight Twi the first twilight is my favorite film of all time I absolutely love it and I've got no time for haters if you don't like it that's absolutely fine just keep that opinion to yourself <laughs> I love twilight I love the books and I love the first film and we're actually going to watch it tonight as well. I usually watch it two or three times a year. It's yeah, it's my favourite. I love it. I love Twilight. And I've had the idea to do a bit of a Twilight themed series over on my Instagram. So do follow me for that to see what cocktails I'm going to come up with. I'm not going to do it on YouTube every week. It's just for this week because it's Valentine's Day and I felt like this cocktail and the name of it fit in with twilight and it's something i've been wanting to do for a while so yeah you know when you just have a, a real passion for something you know um everyone knows i love harry potter hence the borough home bar because my house is called the borough um i obviously love ben i love squirrels i love ghosts i love christmas there's like a few things i absolutely love and twilight is one of them so this cocktail we'll get on to the name of the cocktail in a second <laughs> this cocktail is called unconditionally and irrevocably in love and that's from obviously the film where Bella comes to terms with the fact that Edward's a, a vampire and that's what she says so I just thought I'd name it that and it's sort of like a classy rose pink cocktail because it's Valentine's Day and I do realize that I'm waffling on and on <laughs> I've had a drink already shock um, so let's get going with this cocktail unconditionally and irrevocably in love so it is a gin based cocktail so we have some gin in there, some Campari, some rose flavours going on so we've got rose liqueur, rose syrup and some lemon juice. So this one's going to be really, really lovely. 30 mils of gin to start with and I just realised I don't have a jigger out. <laughs> what else don't I have out? We'll find out at some point. We'll find out very soon what else I don't have. 30 mils of gin. I didn't have a shaker until about two seconds before I started the video. I was like, oh where's my shaker? Okay, so I'm using uh, Roku gin for this. 25 mils of Campari, just because I had that gin sitting out, ready to go. Uh, 25 mils. I always forget you can use Campari in other things other than a Negroni. Do you know what I mean? Like that's just always what I use it in, but it's so beautiful and versatile and a lot of different, a lot of different cocktails. Um, Rose of Cure, I'm just going to do 15 mils. And that's because we've also got a little bit of rose syrup going in as well. So we're just going to do 10 mils of the rose syrup. That's going to be quite rosy, but I, I, you know, I'm, if you're going to do a flowery type cocktail, then go all in, you know, just make it as, well, not as flowery as you can, because obviously it can end up tasting a little bit like perfume. But I think if it's in there, you want it to actually taste of, you know, what it's meant to. Lemon juice, 15 mils I've already squeezed. So we're going to do 15 mils in here. There we go. And that's us. Simple, simple. So add ice. There we go and give that a bit of a shake. Okay, that'll be fine. Don't need to go overboard because there's no egg white or anything in there. So just give it a good shake. And then for my glass, I just have this really small sort of cute, actually one of my favourite glasses. I just thought it would go really well. Um, and just strain because there's lemon juice in there. So just strain into your glass. It should be a little bit of a pinky colour. And then, oh, that's perfect. Just comes up to the top of the glass. 
as you all know, I do like that. And then just to garnish, just a rose petal on the top because, you know, I had the roses and yeah, I just thought it went really well. So there we go. That is my Twilight inspired cocktail. And if you love Twilight just like me, please follow me on Instagram and check out my new Twilight series, which will be coming soon. Yeah, in the meantime, cheers. Let's have a taste. Very nice. Very, very nice. You definitely get. The thing is, rose and Campari work so well together. I've made a rose and a Groni before. Amazing. Really, really nice. Just like such a lovely combination. Um, that's really lovely, actually. Really nice for Valentine's Day. So if you are looking for inspiration for cocktails to make, this is perfect. This is one for you. Um, yeah, there we go. Cheers. Thank you for watching me on the Borough Home Bar. And I'll see you next time for another delicious cocktail, no doubt. Cheers and happy Valentine's Day.